Big right, I'm, I'm sorry, Bobby. He's not listening. Uh, can you go? Go, Billy. It's semi, so it's a three out of five. Yeah, winner semi is best of five. All right, game one. Uh, Thorn getting in right away, but Taxi going back to the neutral side of the stage. Oh, he went for it there. Billy playing really well right now, but uh oh, this is not. All right, he managed to get out of the situation. Aziz's ledge game is ridiculous. The, the wave dash back he does onto the onto the ledge is actually completely invincible. Really? Yeah, there's nothing you can do to hit it. And, I, uh, I, I hit everything you just said. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty gross, I guess. And what Zosa was telling me is, I guess Aziz found out about or was told that by Mofo, and instantly able to basically <laughs> implement it into his game like within the next three days, and that's when he was doing at Zenith. Pretty much perfectly. So, so, so when you say perfect invincibility, you're saying if he were to do it on Brinstar with lava coming up, it, he would live through would, it. You would live through it, apparently. I, I, I don't like it. And a mo I guess from for what Mofo was saying is, is most characters are able to do it. It just it depends on like your angle of your wave land off the stage. So, Hacks with a nice walk off there, uh, while we were giving some, we're dropping some Smash knowledge. Yeah, I texted him. He should be coming here. I'll text him one more time. Actually, there's Phil right there. Phil's, Phil's got to play G-Money. And a lot of this matchup is going to come down to whether or not Falcon can get the grab, because that's where he's going to start most of his offense against Falco. A lot of Falco's moves are basically tailored to shut down Falcon's, Falcon's offense, but as soon as the grab is gone by Falcon, it's more or less Falco has no choice but to escape defensively. And while his options defensively aren't Phil. terrible, they're not the best, and Falcon can usually uh, put them all on blast. Trees. Trees is back. Sit next to Dan. All right, sorry about that, guys. Um, I, I didn't manage to see how uh, Billy took the last stock. Just a uh, down air. A, a string a of, lot downers. of downers. Yeah. All right, that's the so something like this, except with more uh, conversion. His Billy's laser game in this matchup has been really solid. Uh, it looks like Hex is having a lot of trouble getting around it. Uh, that nice. should do it right there. That was smart. Went with a larger hitbox, which is uh, obviously better. Aziz with a nice read, uh, reverse somehow, but still manages to kill. Nice laser right there, good pressure on the shield. Billy's in there, it's gonna be a... Uh, now this is where Hex is gonna be scary, because if Hex can still completely dominate off of one grab is really what the issue is. Nice shield pressure from Billy again, but here's the grab that you don't wanna see. Manages to get out of it, but the pressure is still now he's out of it. But the pressure was still on Hacks there. Uh oh. One straight hit is a conversion. This could be it. It is it. That's it. Oh. Oh. Snaps with the laser. Billy's pumping his fist. Billy pumped his fist. He liked that. Aziz goes up game one. Uh, he's got a smile on his face. But then again, I, I, I very rarely see Hacks not smiling. Uh, this is winner semis. Billy has a smile on his face too. I think Billy's probably just glad to be back out of the tournament after the first time in six months. Uh -oh. Then he's like, like, like you mentioned earlier with his uh, his Falcon experiences against S2J. He's also probably happy that he wasn't pulling the hell up. Yeah, yeah. He's rocking the Banks tag. Shout out to Bobby. If Bobby sees this. We miss you, man. Yeah, he's in the uh, chat actually. Oh, is he? All right, good. Got the Bobby Banks tag. Banks, yes. He knows he got. He's got your back. Billy doing a good job of controlling the neutral part of the stage against Hacks, which is something that not a lot of players are able to do, just because of Hacks' like incredible movement ability. Oh man, good read. This should be a stock. Oh man, uh, you know he didn't want a dash attack there. Nice. He's come up with that come up there. I really like that. It covers a lot of options. I mean, it's just, it's such a strong priority move that lasts for so long. And Falcon can kind of, I mean, Falcon can kind of throw it out really safe. Nice stop there. Gets the grab. Wow, a nice combo. Can break off the grab. Hex now has the center of the stage. Managed to 
Billy's been doing a good job of getting out of a lot of these tech chases. He has. Oh, oh uh, wow. Normally, Hex seems to get more grabs, and then uh, the stock would end, or at least 80% would uh, be accomplished. But Billy's not letting any of that happen. Yeah, he's doing a good job. Aziz, though, is, is just at this point controlling the center of the stage, which is not good for this matchup. He's kind of keeping Falco at a place where he has the option to approach. Ooh, nice read. That spot some bad yeah, yeah. Just the, oh, right that. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> Big read. Aziz, Aziz is just kind of running away with the center. Oh, no. Oh, that God. should. Oh, and he, Aziz. Not only does he mess it up, he loses the stock entirely yeah, for Aziz it. Was, Aziz was shaking his head about that one. Yeah. Oh, that stomp was a scary one because that's uh Falcon's hitbox is just ridiculous on that downer. That would have hit had it been on target. Oh no, he rolled in. This is nice. A good spot dodge. Nice follow-ups. Nice shine. He got lucky there. Oh, oh man. Miss Red. But he still gets the back air and has another chance to edge guard. Over commits with the down air. Okay. Let's get punished on the forward smash whiff. It could be it. No. No free hits off the shine. Uh, this could be trouble. Nice. Nice grab. I don't like the way he's jumping off the stage like that. I feel like that's it's that could be it though. Wow, good DI from Aziz. I just saw the laser go through right there. Yeah, it's it is. I know insane. exactly what you're talking about. That's, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Aziz, well played. I I don't understand Billy. Billy continues to jump kind of off the ledge as, as early as he can there. He, feel, he's being a little too aggressive with the edge guards. Yeah, it, I think he's he, he's respecting hacks so much that I think he, he feels the need to end the stock at whatever cost. Back to Battlefield again. Um, I would not be surprised if Billy takes this game that will go right back to Battlefield anyways. Uh, yeah, this is actually a stage that both players seem to like. I know yeah. Hacks is a huge proponent of Battlefield-only rule sets, and I know this is just Billy's go-to counterpick for most matchups. I'm actually surprised he didn't offer a shine grab there, but uh, Hacks gets away with being able to slide off the ledge with a good light shield toggle. Good tech reads. He probably could have gotten a third dash tech there, but oh, gets that should off. do the stock. is still using that ledge hop technology that it's allows him to be completely invincible and it's it's shutting down a lot of uh, Billy's uh, preemptive laser game. Like he's trying to uh, kind of whittle down Hax's approaches whenever he's trying to come back from the edge and he's just using that invincible ledge stall to blow up the laser every time. Yeah, it's it's uh, one of the things that Aziz does that a lot of Falcons aren't doing right now is just he's so safe from the ledge which is one of the stronger things I've ever seen. Um, Couple of lucky, I, I wouldn't say lucky rolls, but I, I'm surprised that neither of those downers hit through the roll invincibility. I thought one of them at least would have ended. Nice up air there, hits right at the tip. This could be dangerous. Way to be back in the center of the stage. Aziz, however, still controlling it. That should be a stock. And Aziz doing a nice job of uh, covering all of Thorne's recovery options. Yeah, Aziz, Aziz is using safe safe moves like the up air that just they, they don't last that long. He's got a lot of areas to uh, he's got a lot of areas to, do, to work with on that. He went for it. See, that was a little bit safer, but I still feel like there's no reason to get off the stage until he's close. I, I think he might not he, he might not really quite understand the legend invincibility thing that he's going for, and he's just trying to shut it down before he even gets a chance to use it. That's true. Th yeah. That might be why he's going that far, but it, it's still not paying off for him. Oh, a weak knee sends him under the stage. Billy can still bring this back. Um, he definitely uh, will need to control the center of the stage more. It's, it's, you can't let Hex have that. It's just nice. nice. A good stock. All right. I mean, all of these matches have been really close. They've come down to last stock. It's just... Uh, Hax has been uh, the one to close them out. Yeah, Aziz has been showing kind of his veteran status as a, as a top player by being the one to close it out. Here we go. A good grab. A tap reset. Awesome. This will do it. That's it. Good games by Aziz. Um, it was 3-0, but every single game was close. Yeah, so.